What's up guys, it's Darius, and you want a new smartphone that is good, but doesn't break the bank. So if you don't want to spend 7 or 800 bucks on a new smartphone, in my opinion, the two best budget smartphones are the new Moto G6 and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. But you're only going to buy one of the two, so which one's better? This is Moto G6 versus Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. Before we start, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. But let's get on with this review. First, let's get the price out of the way. They both cost around 200 bucks. In some areas, one might be a little more expensive than the other, but generally they're about the same price. As always, starting with the design and build. Which of the two you prefer is subjective, the curvy Moto G6 or the more industrial looking Redmi Note 5 Pro? The Xiaomi is larger and heavier. If you want a bigger Moto device, then there's the G6 Plus, a superior and more expensive version of its little brother. In terms of the hardware, they almost have the same features, minimal bezels, a headphone jack, dual SIMs and a micro SD card slot. Both have a fingerprint scanner, the G6 has its on its front, while the larger Note 5 Pro has it on the back. The one on the Xiaomi is a little faster, but the Motorola one is a little more accurate. Both also have face unlock, which is very fast and accurate, however it doesn't really provide any kind of security as it only uses the front facing camera. Speaking of the front facing camera, you find a front facing flash on both of them, which is quite unique. The Xiaomi has an IR blaster on the top, but sadly only a micro USB charging port versus the USB-C one on the G6. This is a major downside for the Xiaomi and I find it unacceptable to release a smartphone in 2018 without USB-C. Next to the charging port, we find a single speaker, at least on the Note 5 Pro. The Moto has it on the front. Both sound decent. The Moto is superior because it's front facing and it's also harder to cover. Moving on to durability, the Xiaomi has the more premium build. Since it's made from metal, it's also more resistant to drops and scratches. The glass build of the Motorola isn't bad either, especially for the price, but it feels a bit plasticky and therefore cheap. The Xiaomi is just a lot more solid. Both are sadly not water resistant. The G6 is splash resistant. To be honest, the Note 5 Pro is that as well probably, but not officially. Thanks to the ergonomically curved back, the Moto G6 lies better in the hand, although the Xiaomi isn't bad either. Moving on to the displays, they both have an 18x9 full HD IPS display. They're sadly not AMOLED, despite that they're both very good. The Xiaomi gets a bit brighter and the color temperature is cooler, but it's also a little bit washed out, which makes the Moto marginally better. Nevertheless, for the money, both of them are just very good displays. In terms of internals, the Note 5 Pro definitely has the edge. It has the Snapdragon 636 and 4GB of RAM with 64GB of internal storage. The G6, on the other hand, only has your Snapdragon 450, 3GB or 4GB of RAM with 32 or 64GB of internal storage, respectively. I have the lower end version. Now this sounds like they're in completely different categories, however in real life, the performance gap was very minimal. Both run very smoothly with the occasional hiccups, the Xiaomi being marginally quicker at launching apps, but in return, the Moto has better RAM management. The reason for this only very small difference in performance is definitely the software. The Moto G6 runs pretty much stock Oreo versus the seriously heavy skin MIUI 9 on top of Android Nougat. Moto software is just a lot lighter and therefore performs much better than the specs would suggest. In terms of features, there aren't many, but the couple they are are quite useful. There's the Moto display, which is the best always on display by far. It also has a few useful gestures like twisting to launch a camera and chopping for the flashlight. Lastly, you can choose between the on-screen navigation buttons and swiping gestures on the fingerprint scanner to control it, which is neat. Xiaomi's MIUI, on the other hand, is the complete opposite. It's a very heavy skin, it looks a lot like iOS, it has a ton of customization options and more features than you can possibly use. A few to mention, there's dual apps, which lets you have two copies of the same app, second space, which allows you to create separate profiles on your device, and app lock. It even has Mi Drop, similar to Apple's AirDrop. While it has many features, a couple of which are quite useful, the UI is in desperate need of a refresh and a redesign, 
and I believe that Moto software is immensely superior. Moving on to the cameras, both have dual cameras. The Xiaomi's looks a lot more modern with that iPhone-esque vertical placement. However, don't let that fool you. The secondary cameras on both of them are just there for portrait mode. While the portrait modes are flawed, the cameras on both of them are surprisingly capable. Both take very good pictures, especially considering the cost of the phones. In terms of which is better, it's a close one. The Xiaomi tends to take cooler images with a slight purple hue. Sadly, they also tended to be a little washed out. The Moto, on the other hand, does the complete opposite, taking warmer images with a slight greenish hue and much more contrast, which for the most part resulted in better looking images. The exposure was a little better on the Note 5 Pro, as the G6 tended to overexpose. In low light, it's a clear win for the Motorola. Its images are quite noise free. The Xiaomi sadly has this weird processing going on, which smeared everything and added this orange tint. Overall, I'd say the G6 has the better camera. In good lighting, it can go either way, but as soon as there's a little less light, it's a clear win for the Motorola. Lastly, let's address battery life. The G6 houses a 3000 mAh battery, but the Note 5 Pro bumps that up to 4000. Motorola has always had good battery life on their smartphones, and the G6 is no exception. With regular usage, I ended the day with about 20% left, with about 5 hours of screen on time. That's a really good result, and as a bonus, there's turbocharge to quickly top it off. Most people would be very happy with this battery life, however the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro plays in a whole nother league. Thanks to battery optimizations, it lasts you a day and a half, even with heavy usage. Two if you just use it moderately. I got about eight hours of screen on time, which is insanely good. The only real downside is that it lacks any kind of fast charging, and of course, it only has that micro USB port. Now with such good battery life, it's not a big deal, but it would still be nice to have. Oh, and by the way, they both lack wireless charging. To conclude, both are amazing smartphones, especially for the money. Both have a nice design, the G6 is a little more ergonomic, while the Note 5 Pro is more premium. The Moto has by far the superior software, a marginally better display, and a better camera. On the other hand, the Xiaomi has incredible battery life and slightly better performance. If I had to pick one, I'd probably recommend the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro, as it's just a little better value with that all-metal build and the incredible battery life if, however, you can deal with that UI. The issue is with availability. Good luck finding one. It's been out of stock in pretty much any online store. Your best bet would probably be a pop-up store if there's one close to you. Otherwise, the Moto G6 is a great smartphone as well. I'd personally pick it if it were my money because I just can't deal with MIUI. I just don't like it. And I much prefer the clean version of Android on the Motorola. There's even a plus and a play version of it, the plus being a bigger, better and more expensive version of it, and the play being a spec down version with better battery life. Anyways, if you want to buy any of the smartphones, I'll leave them linked below. I hope I can find an online store that has the Xiaomi in stock. Thank you guys for watching all the way up to the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, comment down below if you have any feedback or questions. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, link is also down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to not miss any of my upcoming videos. See you in the next one. Bye.